Now we met uh, back in the radio days. Mm-hmm. That's I suppose how we should explain how, how we met each other because yeah. we've known each other for a while, but it's yeah. we ha, we ha, we've never really talked about it because, to be honest, we we didn't think you'd come on our show. Well, you know, <laughs> you've come on in the past in the radio yes. days. Both you and Hamish have been on, and yeah. Jack is uh, was up for guest of the year last year. Really? Uh, so now this year you'll be up for guest of the year. Do you want us to get Jack back on just so you can beat him? Well, <laughs> oh, you know what? A little bit of our me. audience does love an underdog. A little bit of me doesn't want you to get Jack on. Done. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jack. Because I'm pretty sure we were like, mate, we'll have you back anytime. Just not well, this year. The it it you, you kind of hits a nerve because Hamish and I in I reckon two thousand and one or two thousand and two mm. were uh, up for best um talent. Uh, for our Channel 31 show. It was the Antenna Awards. All right. And we lost to a 15-year-old punk called Jack Post. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yes, Jack, the only time I've ever been up against Jack in an award, he won. He beat both oh, Hamish no. and I. So you're a bit nervous then. So I just don't want him in the group. I don't want him in the nominees because, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah right. history might repeat. So if you get... If you get and now mock, that you've told the audience that, it's audience voted, so they'll be... They can rig That's it. why you can't bring it. You can't have him back on. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll never or have if him he, Or if he comes back on, he has to come on uh, under the agreement that he's ineligible. Okay. He's not a, he's not a guest. <laughs> we'll he's make him a, a co-host. Yeah. 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 Acquaintance. But then he'll be up for co-host of the year. Yeah, oh, and no. And you don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who won last year? Me. Yeah, I think it so. was rigged. They all, they all made a union against me on the show last year. Mm. And everyone who listened to our show felt, thought that was foul play. I felt sorry. And then I, <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. a sympathy win, but yeah. I still took it. And then I ended up dogging everyone. Yeah, you you betrayed night. all of the listeners. I then betrayed the listeners union. on the night. We have like a big and it's wow. called the Loogies. Yeah. The Loogies, um, yes, I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you've hosted the Loogies, yes. which who cares? <laughs> Absolutely, you've never hosted the Loogies. Quite, honest, quite <laughs> honestly, who cares? <laughs> 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 the crowd, the, the audience certainly doesn't. I mean, when you are hosting, <laughs> the, certainly when does you are host, not. yeah, exactly. When you are hosting the Logies, they this is. I mean, the, with, with the Logies, tell us the setup. Is it like at a pub or something, or at a stage? So show? imagine the Logies. Yeah, better. Yeah, it's yeah. black tie. Yeah, easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, so it's just us in a park it's, throwing mud. It's casual, <laughs> so it's 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 black tie, which people often get confused. But it's just black tie. Right. Doesn't mean it's so. It's formal. casual yeah, event, yeah. but you'd, some people wear it around the head as a headband. Right. Some people do an armband. Yeah, yeah um, that's how black tie, black tie should be. And mm. so we did it instance, in the comics lounge last time. Great. So you had yeah. seats with everyone facing you. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. Everyone the logies, who's attending, you don't. Really, everyone attending is sitting at a round circle. table. Oh, they are. And they're I've eating done gigs dinner. like that before at footy clubs. <laughs> and it's awful. Yeah. And so thankfully, as Hamish and I kind of progressed a little bit in our careers, we had enough people that would turn around mm. and give you maybe the start of what you were saying. But yeah. still, you don't want to but laugh like that. It's uncomfortable. No. You're kind of performing to the t- people at home the, anyway. Because you obviously, it's really distracting the room, the clinking of everyone eating yep. and stuff. Mm. But you've got to think when you're watching that at home, like you, it's very faint, the clinking. Well, there's, oh, there's, yes. a, there's an issue with that, Luke. No one watches at home. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you normally see when we first started 50% back of You're heads. going in pretty hard here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's all right. That's right. I, I, Fif- love, I love Hamish and Andy, <laughs> and I'm a big fan of the Logos. This is all satire and performance. <laughs> <laughs> you see 50% of the people's backs of their heads. Mm. Um, as I remember when, cause we, you know, we were hosting kind of early on our careers, like doing segments and it was awful, awful bad beginning. And then it kind of graduates to bearable because yeah. you get say, goes from like 50% back of heads to kind of mid twenties back of heads. That's yeah. pretty good. Oh yeah. It's great. That's great. Um, that, that's a 50% turnaround. Can you, <laughs> can you name and shame someone who never turned around? Uh, we all know it was Carl. Joel, oh, look, I, I can't remember, but I'm just going to say Jamie Jury. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you got him. Well. <laughs> um, there's, there's not a huge risk of him hearing this. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's in our demo. He's yeah. ex-Channel 7 Gardeners. 